Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Empress Aries 888. My name is Tanya. Welcome, my friends. I hope you've had a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time you tune in. I certainly do appreciate that. Like on the way in, it gives me an energetic donation to my channel and it helps me to tune into YOU. This is Timeless Readings. So, whenever you press that play button, I'm convinced that spirit has a message for you because these could also be past, present, or future energies, just so you know. These are collective readings, collective meaning any energy, any sign. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Now, energy does not have a designated gender, but I do say he or she, so please excuse and forgives. And thank you so much for your likes and your subscribes. I'm so humbled by that. The channel is growing and it's because of you and I so appreciate that. Thank you so much. Mwah. All right, let's call in spirit and let's get this party stopped, shall we? Spirit guides and angels of your whitest lights, please give me a clear message for the collective, one that brings healing, understanding, and hope. Please protect my energy as I channel these messages and please protect my beautiful collective. Thank you, spirit, for all of your guidance and your blessings we so appreciate you amen all right so these are the beginnings the power animal oracle cards reminds me of my kid every time i play with these cards so that's why i'm using them today so let's do this what's the first card spirit and i am being ambitious i have a lot of cards out here let's see what we can do to get all of this out ah! because I think there's a message here for more than one person and the person has a lot to say, whoever this is. So what we have here is the otter. Somebody needs to surrender and let go of control. And the monkey tries something new. So maybe trying something new is letting go of control. Maybe somebody is soups controlling and they need to let go of the narrative. Let me go into the energies. Let's see what the overall energy is of this connection, but control is one of them. Trying something new. Letting somebody else take the reins once in a while. Or moving in a different direction. Let's get into the seven energies. And let's see what we have here for that. One more, please, Spirit. All right, thank you. All right, Spirit, what's the energy? We have letting go, we have trying something new. What's the other energy, please, Spirit? taking all of this. Close encounters. Hmm. Transformation. Ten is completion. Somebody's transformed. Somebody is close to what they need to be, where they need to be at. I'm not even going to read that one. I know that's what that is. Somebody is close to completing a cycle or they have completed a cycle their transformation is complete and they're moving on to another cycle this could be you or your person take what resonates and leave the rest let's do soul's journey now i also love that one as well and then we'll go to the tarot so somebody needs to is trying something new maybe this is something self-worth perhaps they're looking at themselves in a different light Maybe other people are also looking at this person in a different light because they have transformed like the butterfly. They come out of their cocoon. Maybe this is what it is. And maybe they're mixing up the narrative, looking at different people, trying different options. So before, maybe they were stuck in that cage and they're no longer stuck in that cage. They've transformed from an ugly duckling, so to speak, to a beautiful swan. I'm hearing from spirit. 
Maybe they thought of themselves as ugly, but they don't anymore. And neither does everybody else that's watching them either. Spirit. All right, what we have here is balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So this person is balancing out themselves. And underneath the deck is purpose. I know what I am here to do, yes. And this transformation brought about this mindset. So many times we can get stuck in a space of lack and not having any self-worth about ourselves. And then something changes which changes everything else in our lives. Once we start caring about ourselves, it's amazing how everything around us changes and this is what is happening. But surrendering to the narrative. So something's happened here. Let's go into tarot. It sounds like a connection that put two people on a different path. And control was a big thing which imbalanced the connection yeah and one of you tried something new moved away and transformed into something completely different which took them away from this person and took them on a different path altogether mm -hmm. now there's balance where there wasn't any in the past this person, you or your person, balanced themselves out. And unfortunately, it had to be done separately. Because there was so much imbalance within the connection. That's what I'm hearing. Yep. And now you know what your life purpose is. All right. Spirit, can you give me some information, please, on this, this journey, please? It's balance. What happened, Spirit? Spirit! All right. What we have here is two of fire. Fire is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. You, you've come into your own new partnerships or contracts. Continue to move forward. See what I'm saying? Something new happened. Maybe you even met somebody new when you transformed. You put yourself in balance, which took you away from the other person because you were in balance with that person. You let go of control and you surrendered to spirit. And now good things are happening for you. Possibly a new partnership with somebody. The Empress here, organization and logic, structure and discipline leader. This could be you or your person that is an emperor. Hmm, Aries energy. So there's fire, there's Aries of fire signs maybe both of you have fire in your chart or one or the other but there's fire here prevalent twice yeah the dreamer a leap of faith follow your dreams unexpected opportunities am i not saying this one person transformed in this connection the other person stayed stuck and what happened is everything else changed for this person it could be you and now you're following your dreams good for you you're trying something new you're getting imbalanced and you're getting blessings for it too by you surrendering to spirit going in the direction that spirit wanted you to go there's blessings there ace of fire again an exciting new opportunity at career advancement change your life now so something's happening career-wise maybe you're following your passions or your dreams good for you and they're coming to fruition and they're something's exploding in in a good way something's happening that changing your life forever your transformation is complete you're moving on to a new cycle and it's blessed by spirit queen of air independent witty yeah clearing away all that no longer serves you seeing the humor in a situation so you're a queen of air air is gemini libra and aquarius so this queen of air and that's justice right balancing things out and and you walked away from situations, people, and circumstances that no longer serve you. And because of that, you're being blessed by the universe. Give me some more information on this, Spirit. Thank you. The world card is here. 
a job well done, joy, contentment, gratitude, a path towards enlightenment. It's all about path. It's all about moving forward. It's all about trying something new. Changes are happening because you set, you found your self-worth. You transformed your life. And it all started within. And you moved away from situations that were toxic. And now the world is here. Complete success. But with that said, you had to give up something in order to gain something. Gain the success. And that might have been your person. Might have been your person. Might have been left back. Yeah. Justice. There you go. Balancing the scales. Justice is served. Fair and just decision. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. And this is what you did. You saw the toxicity in a connection. And you moved away from it. And now you got, you're getting blessings and possibly a new person. Page of Earth. Which is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Good news about financial matters. Wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study. Maybe you're studying something. And Spirit is blessing that, that move forward. You're learning new things. Yeah, and it's going to be successful. Two of air. Being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there is no problem. And that sounds like your person. And this is what made you move in a different direction. They were unable to make a choice with you. Make a decision. But making no choice at all is still a decision, right? It's no. No is no. Whether you say it or out of your lips or you don't do anything to forward move this connection, no is no. And you decided to say, I'm not going to just stand here and die. I'm not just going to wait forever on a shelf. I'm going to move forward. And because of that, now you're getting these blessings. King of Earth. A successful time. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered the Midas touch. This could be you or your person. Just because it says king doesn't mean you're not a feminine with masculine energy. You might have taken charge of this or now that your person wants to take charge. And charge at you. Yeah, because financially, this is a successful situation for you. Things are happening maybe faster than you thought it was going to be. But... Everything is changing for you and it's very financially abundant for you. Eight of air, an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. And I think this is your person. They stayed stuck. They feel trapped. They might be trapped in situations that have karmic lessons attached to that. But that's not you and that's not your fate. You are moving forward. They are staying still. But you're getting success and possibly a new person too is coming into your life. Three of air. Yeah, great sadness, time to heal, the need to forgive yourself and others and this is your person. You know, they're in a different cycle than you. You're moving towards abundance and they're staying stuck in situations that they feel they can't change. They need, they still need healing. Page of fire news of exciting new endeavor of an exciting new endeavor use your originality in ingenuity yeah and this is something that's happening for you because you are no longer staying stuck you are moving forward with your life despite this person there's an awakening here look at things from a different perspective a temporary standstill it's important to be yourself so you looked at the situation as it was in a different light you could either stay stuck in toxicity with your person or you could move forward you can't wait for a person. If they choose to stay stuck, if they choose to be miserable, if they want to be in situations and they made poor choices, that is not on you. So one person's receiving abundance, the other person is receiving receiving karmic lessons in this situation. But it's both necessary. You had to go through karmic lessons yourself in order for you to transfer them transform to this butterfly state it wasn't an easy goal for you either heartbreak leaving this person behind but it was necessary for your growth and also in the interim it'll be also a lesson for this person who's watching you and seeing your transformation and realizing they need to change too in order for them to receive that same transformative financial abundance that you're receiving heavy anchor stable situation 
And that's what's happening to you. You're balancing yourself while you're getting justice and there's stability there where there might not have been in the past. Yeah, take warning. And you did. You looked at the situation, the toxicity of this connection you had with your person. And you realized that you had to move forward. Sudden ending. And it could have been a sudden ending with no closure for you and your person. And that was heartbreaking for you. Maybe you went into hermit mode for a while. While you were going through your karmic lesson to transform and change cunning strategy they might not be done with you yet though they might be they might be strategizing to come back to you strong passion is still on the board between you and your person it's not over yet this just because you moved forward does not mean that the connection is dead in the water that's an illusion that's an illusion my friends they're not done with you yet but let's find out a little bit more about what happened spirit can you tell me what happened in this connection to end it where one moved forward and the other one stayed behind in great sadness too regretting what happened between the two of you regretting the separation between the two of you but not changing that not moving forward in the connection or trying to make it they're still staying stuck so they haven't learned their karmic lessons as of yet but let's find out some information as to what happened. Spirit, can you give me some information to help this person to deal in, you know, I mean, they've already had their lessons, obviously they're transforming, but maybe they don't know what happened to this person. It says a sudden end. Maybe they just ghosted you and you didn't know what happened. Thank you, Spirit. You're the Divine Feminine dark night of the soul is what they're going through their shadow side or they're living in this moon shadow side moon is also secrets they kept secrets from you spirit but you're having messages in your dreams they're telepathically connecting with you oh my goodness spirit come on man yikes they could be an earth sign taurus virgo and capricorn but union is going to happen Yeah, there's a detour. It was a divine intervention that you went in a separate separate path than your person. Yeah, they're, they're clinging to their south node, which is their sexual energy. Maybe they, yeah, they were, you know, having a little too much fun in their south node. Deception, temptations, yeah. They got lost in the temptations of other people, other situations. And that took them on a different path. Remember, yeah, they're, they're remembering you, but there's an awakening that's happening. They're isolating and their thoughts are on you. They're in their devil energy. Capricorn is here. Could be an uh, earth sign. But there's unity transcendence. This is something that's not done yet. But you might be guarded and resistant to them coming towards you. Use your intuition. If they do come towards you. And they eventually will. Because there is a lot of passion, as it mentions, in this connection. Spirit, can you give me anything else? But right now they're in their south node and their devil energy. Yeah, and they're living a facade, making it look good that they're happy when they're really not. They're only fooling themselves. But it might look good, you know, on, pa on paper. It might look good in pictures. They're wearing a false mask of happiness and pretending that everything's great when it's not. Yeah, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio could have that in your chart. Could be a person. Yeah, and they're suffering too. A lack, the suffering, not having you in their life. They're longing for you in separation, as I mentioned. Reflecting on the loss, feeling lost without you. But they have all this lack and doubts and fears that keep them stuck. And until they can come out of that, that's what's going to continue in this connection. While you keep moving forward, they're going to stay stuck the comic wheel is going to keep turning for them but there's going to be no chariot moving forward in their life and they're going to take hits and losses and that is what's necessary for them to get the point spirits putting them through their paces the loss of you is devastating to them and maybe they didn't feel like it would be maybe they didn't feel like you would ever walk away and change and you have changed. Now they don't know how to get you back 
and how to get this connection back on track again. But they are toxic right now. So spirit is going to divinely protect you anyways from this person. Yeah. Missed opportunity. That's how they feel. This was a missed opportunity. Judgment is here. Taboo. They were doing certain things in their south node. Maybe that were taboo. You didn't know about. They're connecting to you in the 5D. Communicating you telepathically as I mentioned before. Anything else there? They haven't let go of your energy. They're reflecting on you. Yeah. Projecting their feelings onto you telepathically too. Yeah. So maybe they feel like the black sheep. Maybe they feel like you blocked them. That you're out of, you know, out of reach for this person now. Yeah, and they're living in the memories and the shadow of the memories of you and they can't they don't know how to deal with that they don't know how to take this it's getting worse and worse for this person to live without you they can't they just don't know how to and they're just existing in toxicity bad habits and the person they're with is fostering that because they don't want to lose this person so they're encouraging these bad habits and perhaps they have bad habits themselves. Yeah, transformation happened for you. But they're in their shadow side, so they're not transforming at all. They're staying stuck. But you're influencing them by your transformation. They're watching you. Yeah, there's conflict in their life. Fire and ice. Sabotage. They self-defeated themselves when they walked away from you and chose somebody else. They weren't authentic. Right? Mixed signals. They weren't really honest with you about how they felt about you. They ran. Because they didn't want confrontation. They didn't want to tell you their truth. Maybe they victimized themselves. Poor me. Look what happened to me. Instead of recognizing that it was their toxicity that changed this connection. Taking responsibility for their actions and their choices. Instead, they ghosted you, they breadcrumbed you, and they love bombed you, and they you to somebody else. Plain and simple. And now they're hurting for certain because you're not around anymore. And they're wishing that you were because they miss you so much, you know? All they can think about is you. And close their eyes at night. It isn't the person next to them that they're thinking about, baby, it's you. And their person knows it too. Sometimes they talk in their sleep. And they say your name. And this person they're with is karmic is well aware talking to you in their dreams. Yep. 3D communication. They want to talk to you in 3D instead of the 5D. They want a renewal in this connection. They're astral planning to you in their dreams. You know, they muse. You inspire this person. And they want a solid foundation with you. What they're in right now is just, it's not good. They want a breakthrough. They have so much passion for you. But they have to change. They're going to want to change. They're going to want to transform. Spirit isn't going to work for them, Work with them if there's toxicity. They don't recognize. Get with the program. This wheel, is, this karmic wheel is just going to keep turning in their disfavor. Alright. Let's see what we can get. One more card here to end it. But you keep, you keep growing, baby. You keep growing and glowing and keep doing you. By your example, this person is going to want to up their standards to match that. Because they are watching you. It didn't come out in the cards, but it, it does come out in the energy read. And you're making a difference and inspiring this person to want to change too. So that they can be what you want them to be. Because you believed in them. 
and you thought so much more of them than they thought of themselves. And that was the problem. They didn't believe you when you thought so much of them. Maybe you gave them so much love and attention and time and you thought so much of this person and they didn't see what you saw. You know, so many times it's almost like the saying, if only you saw yourself through my eyes and you thought so much of this person that they didn't even see that yet. They couldn't see the goodness in themselves. And now they're looking at it through your eyes. And they want to change to be that person for you. Because you mean so much to them. It's amazing how much a person will go out of their way to change when they love somebody. Make no mistake about it they love you and it took them time to admit that to themselves but now they can't run from that anymore they just can't have faith have faith emerging bottom of the deck I am emerging into the light with joy and ease and your light is shining on this darkness that they're in, this dark space, and you're lighting the way for this person to transform too. Keep glowing, baby. It's a beautiful thing. Strength, I have deep inner strength and glorious vitality. And this has balanced you out. Maybe at one time you didn't see your strength. You had more strength than you gave yourself credit for. Transformation takes strength. It takes an awful lot of gumption to want to transform and change and feel good about yourself and love yourself enough to give you that time to do that. It took a lot to walk away from this person and recognize that you needed to do that. I applaud you for that. You are doing more for this connection than you ever thought possible. So keep it up. Have faith. Thank you so much for joining me on Empress Aries 888. Please like and subscribe and join my tribe. I'd love to have you. Until next time, be safe out there, my friends. Be blessed.